Hello, everyone, friends and neighbors. Hello. Hello. You bow your heads in prayer, please, before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we give thanks and praise to you, Lord, for your Son Jesus, the gift of our salvation, for your love for us and forgiveness. We ask Father that you bless the community and the people that are here tonight with the Holy Spirit. Help us all to serve each other better, like your Son Jesus tells us. Help us to serve the communities better, Father so that we can make the communities a better place and thereby go community to community, working on the states, the nation, and the nation of the world. Help us, Father, through the Holy Spirit, to have a heart to serve you and our brothers and sisters. We ask for this in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'd like to read a couple of two scriptures. The first scripture for John 1, 1 through 5, and John 1, 9 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was the life, and that... Sorry, my little cursor is in the way of that word. That life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Now, verses 9 through 14. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the word did not recognize him. The world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Good evening. Our uh, first song this morning, or this evening, Joy to the World. <laughs>
Amen. Good evening. I have Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this.
Christmas true meaning. Let Christmas true meaning rise up in you today. May you see the real splendor of Jesus' birth on this day. May his beauty and grandeur cause your heart to sing. May the gift of his excellence and love become your eternal spring. May his majesty you behold with all dignity and honor. May the fullness of his truth glorify his heavenly Father. May the wonder of his grace reveal its mag magnificence in you. May the greatness you feel be in all you say and do. Let Christmas true meaning bring your Savior near today. May you see the need for him and feel peace, love, and joy today and every day. Amen. Merry Christmas. I stand on amazed when I consider all that he has done for me. Away in a manger he was born, and he died and he died that I might live. Because I have been given much, I too must give ser serving others and teaching by example. Come follow me, the Savior said. Lord, I will follow thee. Let us all press on and scatter sunshine. The peace and happiness the gospel brings, I know my father lives, for I can feel his <clears throat> I can feel his warmth and love in my sweet hour of prayer. Yes, I am a child of God, and because of this knowledge, this is sunshine in my soul. Today all come all ye faithful and sing joy to the world. God loved us so he sent his son. Jesus wants a humble birth. He was born on a silent night in a little town of Bethlehem. His life is our ultimate example of sacrifice and love. I know that my Redeemer lives, how great thou art. Isaiah chapter 7 verses 13 and 14 then Isaiah said hear now you house of David is it not enough to try the patience of men will you try the patience of my God also therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel But you, Bethlehem, through you are small among the clans of Judah. Through you, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from, the, from ancient of days.
I'd like to sing a song for you. It's called King of Kings.
was moved for good, for the Lamb had conquered death. And the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe. For the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. And the church of Christ was born, then the Spirit lit the flame. Now the gospel truth of old shall not reap, shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. Sing along. Luke 1, 26 to 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledge to marry, be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is greeting with you, or is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel. Since I am a virgin, the angel answered, The Holy Spirit with you come on you, will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. For the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a, son, a child in her old age, and she who will... I'll say it very loudly. <laughs> and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Are you sure you love her? <laughs> All right, for the next scripture, we'll be reading from Matthew uh, chapter 1, 18 through 25. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, he was found to be or she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to the public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Because what is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, 
the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home to be his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave, and he gave him... Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. And he gave him the name Jesus. <laughs> Our next song is What Child Is This? in those days that a decree went out to Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census took place while Quir Quirinus was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to own his city. Glory in the... Sorry. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were come were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn. Now there was in the same country the shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, the angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings and greatness and joy which for all people. For there is a born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with 
an angel with a multitude and heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. So it was, when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe laying in the manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known, saying, This was he was told concerning this child, and all those who had heard it marveled at those things which they were told by them, the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told to them. Oh, 
started out this morning talking in the Gospel of John. Let me go back over one of those. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And then Jeff shared a verse with us from Isaiah, Isaiah 9, 6. And in that verse, Isaiah gave the child the name of Mighty God, among others. The child in the manger is none other than God himself. So stop what you're doing, put down your phones, Put down your tablets, turn off your television, and pay attention. <clears throat> God became a child. Look in the manger. What do you see? You see a helpless babe. Poor like us. Flesh and blood like us our brother, and yet he is God. He is might. But where in that manger is the divinity? Where is the might in that helpless child? It is in the divine love that came down from heaven. His poverty in the manger is his might. He overcame the chasm between God and mankind with that love. He overcame sin and death with his death on the cross. And he forgives sin and awakens from the dead because of the love that he holds for all of mankind. And tonight on the eve of the day when we celebrate his birth, we need to remember that there is no greater love than that of God allowing his son to come to earth for us as a helpless child so that we can be reconciled with him. And these guys are holding the emblems of that reconciliation. The blood that he spilled for us. The bread that signifies his battered body for us. Why? Because of the love that allowed him to come down as a helpless babe to be born in a manger. Let's pray. 
Father, we are so eternally grateful that you saw fit to give us a second chance by allowing Jesus to come down, walk among us, care for us, and then die for us. And tonight, Lord, as we celebrate that death, may you draw us closer to you. Father, use that, these emblems, to bring us back to you. Forgive us our sins and reclaim us yet again from where we've fallen short. And we thank you so very much that we are able to gather together tonight around this table. And we ask your blessing now in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Yeah, if, if, yeah, come over here, and if you all will just start making your way up this way through the center, and um, get your communion, and uh, bring your candles after you've had your communion, we will allow you to light your candles, and uh, Joe, you got her? Okay, please, uh, front rows, come on up. And if you need some time to reflect, please have a seat on the front row. Just don't sit on the phone. Oh. It's in this first chair. Oh, you're good.
Uh, if anyone was unable to come forward and would like to be served in your seat, please raise your hand and Joe will, will serve you. My scripture text for this evening is Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 35. And there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ, the Lord's Christ. And he came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to carry out for him the custom of the law, then he took him into his arms and blessed God and said, Now, Lord, you are releasing your bondservant to depart in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all people, a light of revelation to the Gentiles, <clears throat> and the glory of your people Israel. And his father and mother were amazed at the things which were being said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rise of many in Israel and for a sign to be opposed. And a sword will pierce even your own soul to the end that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. Kind of like when you're trying to open the communion cup in front of everyone. This little light of mine. Thank you so much for being here. Celebrate the birth of Christ. Thanks to our readers and uh, all those who shared. Thank you to Mark and Sharon for leading our music. Uh, thank you for Dave sharing that song, King of Kings, uh, about a week or two weeks ago on his, uh, his uh, thread, devotion thread. That's the song Sharon sang. I think Sharon did it better than, well, anyway. <laughs> That's right. Uh, did everyone get a candle? Does anyone need one? Or does everyone? Okay. If you want to make your way to the outside of the chairs here, let's make a circle around the chairs. Yeah, we'll, we'll come close to a circle here. Just come this way just a little bit. Yvonne, come this way. Bring Mark with you. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now, I can hold two hands here because I don't have a candle, but that's okay. <laughs> you just lit one. I know. What did you do, eat it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yes, yeah. I was afraid I'd ruin it. Now, this is, this is such an exciting time. Through the eyes of a child, there are kids all over America, maybe all over the world, who won't sleep tonight because they're so excited about the presents in the morning. There are a lot of families that are, are doing without there are families that have had fires recently or theft or whatever. We can be thankful to God for the greatest gift, and that is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We're going to close with prayer and then uh, one more song, Go Tell It on the Mountain. 
Father, thank you for this celebration, for the opportunity to share from our hearts, to share from your word, Father, to share in song, Father, to share smiles together and hugs. Thank you for friends that maybe we haven't seen in a year or maybe even longer. Thank you, Father, for the joy that you give us and the peace. Thank you, Father, for your great love and the opportunity to remember Jesus and to proclaim his death till he comes again as we took communion. Thank you, Father, for the light of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. Thank you and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mama, can you skip it? I don't know where you're from. There's a box on the table back here. If you go out, put your deposit your candles in there, please. Yeah, please uh, deposit your candles in the box in the back, and we'll use them again next year. Thank you. Thank you for